Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekly re uh, weekly reading. I think this is from Monday to Sunday, um, nine to fifteen October. Okay, so this is for the Sun, Moon, and Rising. I mean, in uh, this, uh, you know, we're gonna have some more of the central issue, and at the same time, they're blockages in an extended read, and we're gonna use the you know Gypsy Oracle if we needed some more clarity. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. Okay, this is for the Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's going on for you. This is you. Okay, you have your the tower, can be a Mars person, Scorpio, okay, Aries. This is about change from what I'm sensing here. This is about, uh, you know, a change that is meant, you know, you could probably be stuck in a situation and then now everything is moving also. Because this is like removal of blockage, guys. You have to understand the tower is a blockage. That's why it's, it's uh, you know, you could probably be letting go of, of blockages. Are you feeling... Um, whatever that you, whoever you're connecting with, there's no more blockages. That's what I'm sensing here. And then you have here the Two of Swords. So that is the blockage over there. Um, you're trying to make a decision, decision. You're going to make a decision that will change your life also. That will change everything. Because the Two of Swords is being stuck. You know, trying to contemplate and think of the situation. And then you have your Four of Wands. You see how contradicting the, the energies are? That's a change right there. Drastic change. You probably um, don't want to commit to anyone or this person doesn't want to commit to you because this is either or Taurus. And then now you feel like, I can and I will. Opposing energy, guys. It was called for. It wasn't you who did this. It was more of a universe interacting because remember, the tower is something, right? It is something that it will change you and it's in the opposing energy here. Four of Wands, getting a relationship, being with someone, okay? And this is the being stuck part, trying to make the decision. I, what do I do? What I do? You know? It's like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What, what do I really need to do? What do I really want? Okay? And then you made that bold move. It's a bold move. Okay? Even the, if this other person, they're making a bold move towards you. Okay. Life-changing decision over here. Let me see here. Another person. The other person has the full card. They bring the change. They're spiritual people. Spiritual person. They bring the beginning in you, okay? This is the sense of like this person, um, they're innocent and uh, they're innocent in their ways, which makes it, which makes them attracted, you know, or attractive to you or you to them, okay? And you could probably be having some difficulty in your life also, which is a tower, and they still didn't care about it. They were there. That's the full card right there. They were there regardless of the situation. Because for them, it was, you know, it's like, what's, what, what are they gonna lose? There's nothing. They're the full card. And then they have here the chariot card, another major arcana, in Syrian energy, moving towards you, traveling. These are both travel. This person, when you see this person, it will change your life if you guys are from a distance. And by the way, Taurus, if my energy is different, it's because of the full moon. I'm on a different state. All right. <laughs> so there's movement over here. They do listen to the universe. Strong. This person believes in science and synchronicity. It's all about charging forward this person, no hesitation. And then they have here three of swords, okay? So this is what they're moving from. And this is what they're putting themselves in at risk for. The full card, the chariot with the three of swords. For this person, they don't care. They do, they might get hurt. I don't care. I'm just gonna keep charging over here. That's a chariot. Because they listen to the guides. And then for them, trust in the guides is more important. The full card is divinely guided. Okay. When I say divinely guided, guys, I, I hope you guys know. It's trusting yourself, you know, like more of your, you know, I guess, yeah, intuition. So this person is trusting their intuition rather than any second thoughts. The chariot doesn't second thought if they're going. So meaning they're not second thinking what this connection is about. They're just all about, I'm going to wing it. I'm going to move fast and move forward over here. Let me see the central issue over here. You have your page of wands, okay? This person is the one, you know, if you're gonna sing, baby, you can light my fire. They light that change that fire in your tower. If that tower wasn't, you know, wasn't bulging, they gave you that light, they gave you that, um, you know, it's almost like they gave you the lighter or the match to start the change in your life. That's what I'm sensing here. But let me see this three of swords for you guys before we go to the next and read. You have your letter, okay? 
a message. So there could have been a message that they're hesitating, that they're scared of giving towards you or communicating with you. This is the part where they're hesitated, but they didn't care about it. They may get the answer that they don't, that they can't handle, but for them, again, there's the full card. It doesn't matter. Let me see the, the, the tower for you guys. The tower is a child. Okay. So if this is the innocence, okay, this child is reflective of the full card also. It's the innocence, again, I told you, that bring the change in you, that, that bring the change in the cycle of the energy. It's more of the, because the child never worries. And that's what they brought to you. It's like, do not worry. Do not worry. I'm with you. That's a child. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading, guys, with more of the central issue, Taurus, and their blockages. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, if you're wondering, um, fire sign, yes, Scorpio, Piscean, Cancerian, Aries, yeah. All right, so thank you very much, guys. Bye.